Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel, and today I have for you an update on those LED strips. Um, there's a few things I just want to tell you guys right off the bat. I, mean, I always wonder, can these LED strips replace the T5s? And my honest opinion, as someone who has used both over the years and loves them both, is these LED strips are a little underpowered for comparing them to the T5s, considering how many I have over here. One, two, three, four blue and one white. Um, the color is outstanding, but if you had that same number of bulbs with the T5s, I mean, this tank would be blinding bright. Um, but they do a great job with the shadowing. It's just these lights are a little dimmer. This is a 30 inch tank, so this is pretty deep. Um, but they're absolutely impressive. As far as coloration, they nailed it. Um, I wish Ecotech or somebody would make a stronger LED strip because I love LED strips. I really like it, but they come in just a little bit lower quality. Now, I definitely would recommend these as supplemental LEDs for anybody who wants their corals to pop. Um, like that anemone is just banging right now just to see them in person. The colors are glowing. Uh, I just wish, like I said, I wish they were a little more powerful. Like, I mean, those AIs, the Radions are pretty impressive. The Kessel, I find the same way, is a little bit weak. But, but yeah, you need too many of these strips to get enough light, I think. Now, they still grow coral and they still do wonderful, but I, I always want enhanced pop. I'm always going for maximum. So I'll probably lay a strip now long ways down the side. I'll, make, I'll box it out with LEDs and then put the Radions in the middle. So I think that's probably the best way to do it honestly instead of doing all the strips and going down um, just to get like four 24 inches and box it out and then have your good lights in the middle so you get a beautiful accent blue that makes the colors pop and you know very cool so anyway I just want to give you guys that update I got lost looking at my tank again that Chevron is so incredible Never gets old staring at him. He obviously is camera shy because he keeps running from me. But those of you who actually are interested in these LED strips, I will put them on the website um, this weekend. And, and we have them in like 18, 24, 30, and 48 inches. Something like that. So... So they're gorgeous, definitely great colors, but need a little more power. They do awesome like this enhancement, and you can actually turn on, each one has its own moonlight at nighttime, which looks incredible. So I love, like I said, the LED strips. I just want a little more power out of them. Um, I guess we'll have to wait and see when I put the canopy back on, because right now I'm getting blinded, so my perspective's probably a little off too. Um, but sometimes you need to like just settle down and come back let the lights turn them off and come back or close your eyes as to say but all right i'm making everybody wait um let me see what else do i have there's something i wanted to show you guys earlier and i can't remember what it was all right the only maintenance I've done on this JBO dosing pump in how many years is this number one. This was the ALK and it got backed up and the thing broke. Um, but they give you a replacement and I already replaced it and it works great again. So those dosing pumps are pretty awesome. Um, if you had any problems with them, feel free to let me know. Equipment does fail. Some are more top quality, but for the price, you really can't beat it for that kind of doser. And I'm only using three right now. And that extra one, if it ever breaks, I honestly got an extra one. So, 